actually a blend of um, Pinot Grigio, Chardonnay, Meunier, and Sauvignon Blanc. Thank you. Absolutely. I think I'd like to try the Merlot. The white Merlot? Well, yeah, I've never tried, tried a white Merlot. I've Thank never you. tried a white Merlot. Thank you. The Coppola Pinot Grigio was quite nice. Their rosé was awesome also. They're light and flavorful. They actually taste like what they're supposed to and not some random ingredient. I've actually been experimenting with reds and uh, I really like the dry flavors of the reds. Um, she introduced me to the whites. I really like those but I've been trying to like broaden my you know palate and, and that's why I'm here to kind of like experience all of it you know. Actually, I can't tell you the restaurant, but there was a shrimp back here that was outstanding. <laughs> a sandwich, a beef sandwich with horseradish sauce. It was very good. I had little mozzarella and basil and tomato things that were very good from Lugano. But Today, this is real popular, Corchetto Chianti from our estate in Tuscany. Uh, we also had Rotari, our sparkling wine from northern Italy and Trentino, which was very well received. Ciao Bella! Ciao Bellissimo! This particular winery that we're, we're doing today is uh, Castello di Corcetto, Corcetto Chianti. This, this producer is in the heart of Chianti Classical region. Uh, his family's owned this winery, this little estate castle, for over a hundred years in Tuscany. And um, people seem to like the wine here. They're all enjoying it, having a wonderful day. And um, I guess we'll be here next year. The uh, still chef was excellent. I mean, uh, we have a brand new chef in town. You know, that's a great thing. And we have Zen, who has been here for a few years now in town. And I think it was very close. I mean, the number can say it. Okay? The food was a little bit different over on both sides. Um, one more traditional, more, one more contemporary. But it was great. You know, I tried to test a little bit of it very far, but it was great. We used white asparagus with summer truffles with a little morel, so we have our morel gravy, and then we did a julienne of our green, uh, or of our yellow beans, so we used both two items, and then a little bit of huckleberries, just, or uh, I'm sorry, a little bit of fresh currants. Yeah, I think the public was really into it this year, more than the other years. I don't know why, I don't know because of wine, I don't know, I don't know because of the sun, I got no clue, but I'm very excited to be part of it, and I'm telling you, everyone who's been part of this, everyone, all the restaurant of this town, all the people backing, the, you know, the producing company, it's excellent. I mean, I'm so happy to be part of it, and I'm, I'm glad they asked me to be the MC today again this year. Let me see the judges here. Okay, don't give me any number. No, I don't want to know anything yet. Just tell me what you're saying. This is probably the most tender thing I think I've ever tasted in a meat uh, dish. Uh, the, these veal cheeks. It, it's literally just dissolving in my mouth. It's fabulous. Everyone that I've talked to like has been answering my questions like more than I've needed to like you know I'll ask a question and they'll go above and beyond what they've needed to to answer it and I like that. All right, yeah. this is out of Lodi area. Right, good? It's good. Yeah. Short River Shard, State Bottle. Sure, thank you. I do too. Thank you very much.